everybody, it's my one year anniversary of my rotator cuff surgery. And this is only for encouragement for people who are having surgery, have had surgery and are discouraged. I want to, to show you what, where I'm at at one year. My surgery was more complicated than most people's and so it's taking longer for recovery. Um, my prognosis was two years. I'm a little bit ahead of where I'm supposed to be. And I actually was told by the doctor that I might be where I'm going to be. But we're going to work on it and make sure that I'm not where I'm going to be. We're going to make sure we get that shoulder as far as I can get it by the two-year mark. I still have some pain in the shoulder. Um, it's not near as bad as it was before the surgery. So you're not going to regret the surgery. You may regret it now. You may be thinking, why did I do this? This is terrible. It is terrible, but it gets better. I promise you it gets better. So one of the things I wanted to tell you is not to skip your therapy. Therapy is important. Every time they schedule you, you go. Uh, my insurance paid for so much, so I just went, went, went. If I had to skip for some reason, I immediately rescheduled so that I didn't miss another one. So. As soon as the insurance ran out, I started doing them at home. They sent me home with some exercises. Then I, after I got stronger and had more rotation, I actually got on YouTube and looked at some more. Um, be careful on YouTube. You don't want to do any exercises that are going to re-tear your rotator cuff. Make sure you start small and work your way up. Um, right now, my arm will not pick up more than five to eight pounds at the most. I'm a little disappointed in that. I was hoping that I would be able to lift a lot more than that, but I'm not. Um, although I have been trying. Uh, you just know when you've got too much weight, it's not going to work. So I don't want to re-tear it, so I'm not going to go any higher than that until my body says I'm ready to go higher than that. But just know that it may be a while before strength comes back. But my rotation is pretty good. I'm at 75 to 80%, which is where he told me I may be in two years, and I'm there at a year. So I'm pretty doing pretty good. Um, I can do my shoulders around, the shoulder around. I can do big circles, little circles. I can lift them up. I can go behind my back almost as high as I can get my other one. I'm really working on both of them right now so I can really get them going good right up my back. Um, the stretches help with that. Always do stretches before you exercise. A um, friend of mine gave me a bow flex, so I'm using that a little bit. Uh, working on my triceps as well because it's really important. One of the reasons that my shoulder was torn so bad was because when I injured it, it was not in good shape anyway. If you keep your shoulders in good shape, you're gonna be less likely to get a severe injury. So I'm working the shoulder now too. Uh, I'm way ahead, of course, on this one because this one wasn't injured. So I'm doing, you know, 15 pounds, doing triceps, and this one I can't do all that much. Uh, I've got a five pound, bell that I use to do my stretching exercises, my strength exercises. Uh, my stretching, I don't use any weight, but with my strength exercises, I use this five pound, and that's about as much as I can handle right now still at a year. Of course, some of you will recover faster. Some of you may recover better. Uh, mine, like I said, was complicated. Uh, Two years is a long time. I was actually in the sling for 14 weeks. 14 weeks I was in that sling. I was able to get in and out of it to start therapy at eight weeks. Now, some of you will start therapy, you know, a couple of days down the road. I was not allowed to because of the complication of my surgery. And so, especially being an artist, I hate, I hate not being able to paint and draw. It's one of my outlets and I love it. Um, as you see, I've started one. It's pretty good size back here. It's actually supposed to be in a show in April if I can get it done. I don't know if I can because it's still, my shoulder still won't stay up that high. And so I lay it on the ground. I lay it on the table 
and do it at ground level, at waist level, but it's still really, really slow and complicated. So we won't be painting a whole lot still for a while. But in you know another six, eight, 12 months, I should be where I'm gonna be. Uh, he said probably not any better after that. So I'm really, really trying hard to get as good as I can by that t next 12 months down the road so I can get back to work and get back to doing things that I like to do, like painting. And I like going out on the job with my husband and helping him a little bit. And haven't done that in several years because it was three years since my injury before I got my surgery. And so it's been another year so I haven't really been out on the job much either. So I would really like to do that again. So anyway, here we are. Don't get discouraged. Do your therapy. Do extra stuff at home after your therapy is over. And just don't give up. That's all I have to say is don't give up. But we'll see y'all later. Have fun. Bye.